Hello, and welcome to the Web of Light speaker series. Dr. Kevin here, interviewing yet again another speaker that's going to be at our January 17th, 2021 event, Karen Campbell. She's going to be doing a meditation. Karen has a history uh, with grief, grieving, death cafes. Uh, her topic is going to be, or her meditation, is going to be honoring our losses. Karen, welcome. It's about honoring our losses, and it's about recognizing that we have so many losses, not just to death, but to all different changes and transitions, and we have a right to grieve all of our losses. And that in, in honoring them, we, we also welcome in healing. And in the meditations, uh, we'll explore that. And then people who, who come to the meditation will not only receive that you know, that sense of validation and that gift of knowing that it's it's right to grieve all of your losses, but they'll also have these meditations that they can go back to. I am a grief counselor. I have many years experience with um, people who are bereaved, who are experiencing grief, who are seeking um, help along their healing journey. And uh, of course, I have experienced many losses and I know that healing is possible and it's within us but to um, connect with others is one of the greatest things that we can do. They will be validated that grief is normal and important and necessary. They will understand that we grieve all of our losses. Nothing is insignificant. Anything that we once had or could really realistically expect to have had and no longer have is a loss. And they all matter. All of our losses matter. And the third thing would be that healing happens. It does happen, but it's an evolution. It's not just instant, you know, it's not a 30 minute sitcom or a microwave dinner. It's a process, it's an evolution, but it does happen if you take the time to grieve. You can get tickets at weboflight.com. You can get tickets at the Web of Light Expo Facebook page. Karen. Thank you for coming. I look forward to having you on the 17th. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm honored to be there. Thank you. Let's bring in our event presenter, Wendy Darling. Wendy, how are you? I'm really good, Kevin. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'm just getting ready for my book with the same title to be released in March. I think we all need a bit of a jump start. And I also believe in every fiber of my being, that everyone has something special to offer and contribute and to also be able to reap the benefits. Well, first of all, I'm going to help really awaken those desires um, because sometimes we think we need to be a certain way and we're going to come from a very core place. Secondly, I have one of my many wonderful processes that I refer to as a results accelerator. And I'm going to teach you how to identify which one of those is going to be the one to help you really accelerate the results that you want to be experiencing. And then I just love to share my healing gift and journey. So I'm going to help facilitate the release of interference and teach people how they also can continue that even after our time together. So it's never too late to create a miraculous life and you're speaking from the place of a miraculous life. Is that not true? It really is true. And it's, um, you know, my life has not necessarily always been easy. The fact that I'm even alive talking to you about it is a miracle in itself. And there's lots more juicy details that I'll be including in our time together in January. Wendy, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Can't wait. Uh, then we have Heal Your Heart Through Laughter and Music, Rain Thomas. I am a vocalist, you know, by trade. And, and what I realized over the years is that no matter what people are going through, laughter and music somehow brings us all together. And it, it just allows everyone to say, you know what, it's okay. This might not be going my way, or oh, this looks bad, 
But putting some humor on it and putting some music on it can always change. It doesn't matter what language you speak or don't speak and where you come from. It's just a way to make everybody look human and approach life's challenges through some humor and laughter and music. You know, how can we make this look a little different? What's the perception? I do a couple of songs. And what I know for a fact is when you deposit a song in someone's heart, a lot of times they may not receive it right then and there, or you know, they may hum it later. But I want people to remember at least a part of that song. So when things get tough or something happens, they go back and they hum that song and they think about that song and they realize, you know what? Everything is going to be all right, I'm gonna get through this. Why? We're gonna be interviewing Donna Bass, master herbalist who will be talking on five tips for staying safe in the time of COVID. COVID is, um, there's a lot of different and c conflicting information um, out there for people and there's a lot of it to wade through and um, I've waded through a bunch of it and I've come up with some things that you can do at home that are very easy and pleasant to do to help to prevent, to protect your um, health. I come at it from a scientific viewpoint. I have a degree in behavioral neuroscience. It was my undergraduate degree and I have a, a master's degree in um, transpersonal studies. How can we blend the two things together, science and uh, traditional healing methods? Donna, I wanna thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. You have a wonderful day. Welcome, Dr. Kevin. Hey, thanks for having me. So, Dr. Kevin, uh, what is the name of your, of your topic? Creating your best new year. Now, um, I... I've been I've been teaching uh, some version of creating your best new year for over a decade now, and usually I do it as a longer workshop and there's some interactive exercises and I hear from people that have taken it last year, the year before, the year before that. I have people to come back and take it on a regular basis. You know, on January 1st, 2020, most people didn't see the year that we had as the year that was coming. And I think that after many people felt like they floundered or struggled in 2020 for lots of good reasons, mind you, uh, that being able to look at it is how can I create my best new year? The secret is to create the best one that you can have no matter what is going on. How to refocus, recenter and enter 2021 in the best place possible. And I look forward to being there. Namaste.